हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैथमेटिक्स पोर्टल एंड टुडे वी डिस्कस डिस्कार्टेज रूल ऑफ साइन वी नो दैट एवरी पॉलिनोमियल और इक्वेशन हैव रूट्स एंड दीज रूट्स आर डिपेंड्स ऑन द डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल व्हिच मींस द रूट्स कैन नॉट बी ग्रेटर देन द डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल एंड दीज रूट्स हैव सम नेचर एज वेल एंड बाय नेचर आई मीन दीज रूट्स मे बी नेगेटिव और मे बी पॉजिटिव so today we find the number of the positive roots and number of the negative roots of a polynomial so for this purpose we use descartes rule of sign so first consider a general polynomial p and x which is described here where p and x equals to a not x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 dot 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 an where a not is not equals to 0 and all the ais are real so this rule can be divided into two parts so there are two statements the statement 1 tells us that the number of the positive roots of a polynomial p and x cannot exceed the number of the variation in sign of the coefficients in the polynomial p and x and the another statement tells us that the number of the negative roots of a polynomial p and x cannot exceed the number of the variation in sign of the coefficients in p and minus x and now i will give you uh, some examples relating to this rule so here we take a 5 degree polynomial which is given here 5x to the power 5 minus x minus 4x to the power 4 Minus three x to the power three plus two x square plus x minus two, and now we are looking for the variation in sign of the coefficients. So we can say that the coefficient of the first term is positive, the coefficient of the second term is negative, the coefficient of the third term is negative, the coefficient of the fourth term is positive, the coefficient of the fifth term is positive, but the coefficient of the last term is negative. Now using the first statement, so we so we are looking for the variation in the sign so we can see that here a variation from first to second so there should be one positive root now you can see that there is no variation because it's going from minus to minus so there is no positive root now you can see that there is a variation from third to fifth which is from negative to positive so there should be one positive root again there is no variation so there is no positive root but there is a, again a variation from minus to negative so there is one positive root so according to the first statement we have one two three positive roots of this 5 degree polynomial now we looking for the negative roots of this polynomial so for the negative roots we replacing x by minus x so replacing x by minus x the equation above equation becomes minus x minus 5x to the power 5 minus 4x to the power 4 plus 3x to the power 3 plus 2x to the power 2 minus x minus 2 now we looking for the variation in the coefficient so there is the coefficient of the first term is negative coefficient of the second term is negative coefficient of the third term is positive fourth term positive again there is negative the last term is again negative so you can see that there is no variation from first to second but there is a variation from second to third which is from negative to positive so there should be one negative root but again there is no variation but there is a variation from fourth to fifth which is from positive to positive to negative so there should be one negative root and that there is again no negative root in the last variation so we finally have according to the second statement one two negative roots and i as i said earlier that the number of the roots of a polynomial depends on the degree of the polynomial so you can see that the degree of this polynomial is 5 so number of roots of this polynomial should be 5 so there are three positive and two negative and total five roots can be find out 
now we taking another example so there is a polynomial of third degree so first we find out the variation in the in this polynomial so you can see that the first term of this polynomial is positive second term is negative third term is positive and last term is negative now we looking for the variation in sign so you can see that there is a variation from positive to to negative so there is one positive root there is another variation from minus to positive so there is one more positive root and there is a, again a variation from positive to negative so there is one more positive root so we have find three positive roots and we also say that uh, we also can say that there is no negative root why you can see that if we replace x by minus x we find minus 7 x to the power minus 7 minus x square minus x minus 1 so we can see that there is all coefficients are negative so there is no variation so there is no negative roots why because all the three roots of this polynomials is positive so that is it in this video and if you like our videos so please subscribe our channel mathematics portal and like us on facebook and instagram thanks for watching